update. We're going to start outside first. There's Coley, always getting right in on things. Kitty, Kitty is doing much better. I think her wound is almost completely healed from the looks of it. I don't see it there at all. Kitty. And there's Monkey, our little blind girl. I'm going to show you around the place here because it's all been changed. There's all of our trees out there. We have a new line of trees also. We have the trailer out from in front of the house completely now. There's our house. Tower in the back where the repeater is going to be. Another tower over there for you ham operators and Donald Grewar over there. In Wales. It's a uh, dusk here so Coley's wanting to get in on the scene all the time. I can hardly walk for him. Looking at the house, we will move that little shed there, which is Monkey's little house. That's the kitty's house. We'll move that over there kind of where the trailer is, where that stuff is, right there. And here's our garage. The trees are growing a lot. I had to trim them. Coley's trying to trip me. <clears throat> and every morning right across here we have antelope traps. A little antelope track right through here in the morning. There's Gumbo. He's bigger, a little bit bigger than Coley. They're awfully lot, about the same size almost. I can hardly walk for Coley. He's trying to get between my feet and the birds and things are eating up my fruit this year. We've got some little shoots coming up there. I'm going to take them and plant them pretty soon. There's our cherry tree. We didn't get any cherries this year. And the apricots. No apricots. We had quite a bit of grapes, but the rascals are eating our grapes. There's birds and things. And our cherry trees here. And blackberries. We had a few blackberries except the, the rabbits and things are trying to get all of them. I trimmed these trees up this last week. So here's our very old grapevines over 100 years old. And Coley still wants to get in on the show. There's the one cherry tree that I think is not going to make it. There are three cherry trees there, a Montmorency and two Stella cherry trees. All the way down this line of trees. Still got quite a few towers to put up. Now let's see if I can get over here without being tripped by my little friend. That's the job. Kitty had a big cut in her side and it healed up. Monkey? <whistles> Better not get outside of that gate. We have bats here. And as I'm tripping over Coley all the way, Come on, monkey. Get over here. Come on, my little blind girl. She'll run right into that fence. Watch out, boys and girls. Monkey, this way. Come on, you're going the wrong way, girl. Get over here. Come on. This way. Come on. Get back in the yard. Now well, that's a gate. Come on, keep going. Come on, keep going. Well, let's see. Get this gate closed so she doesn't go out. She 
be run over by some fast car or gobbled up by some animal. And there that went. That's looking at the house. From out here. All right, Coley, I know always where you are. You're right between my feet. Come on, monkey, up this way. There's where our one freezeless frost, frost, frost proof faucet there is. And it runs out that line and waters all of our trees all the way back here. This is the front of the house. Take you across the back out here, and then we'll go back in the house. The night hawks are flying. And that is a Studebaker axle there from a Studebaker wagon, the Conestoga wagons. I need to soak it in water and put the rings back in place. We'll go around the house so I can show the progress. Here's our small patio. And our clothesline poles. A tower there. And the tower here. That's a Rhone 45 there, a Rhone 25 over there. And we got a new addition to the family here. That's going to be fun. Still have a lot of trash and things around here. We moved the, the portable shop here. And there's a place there for the, the tractor. A little bit of protection from the winds and things. This is our guest house, or where we lived for five years. This will be a little fun here thing if I ever get it finished. Looking back at the house here. Hopefully we'll build porches all the way around this end. It'll be uh, nice if we can get that done. There's our 1932 Ford trailer, which I used today. There's another line of trees that I put down there. They're beginning to grow. Our plums tree here has a quite a load of plums on it. It's the only tree this year that that did anything except for a little cella cherry. Or not cella, but Montmorency cherry tree down on the creek. It has some plums on it. And the plums are beginning to get ripe. There's quite a load of plums. I better eat them all are green or else <laughs> we'll get it. There's where we took all the dirt out of the place for building the garage and there's our other line of trees down to there as you can see and I planted those these are just trees that I cut branches off of our other trees as you can see these are still pretty there's one black walnut tree and that tree's got a few live leaves down below and a few up here and the other one there it seems like the smaller ones do better this one some leaves are coming on it and all of you have been wanting to look at Maryland paintings we'll go back in the house and we'll look at those so we go all the way down that line look there there's the creek all the way from there all the way to the other end <clears throat> got one more section of tower to put up on this tower it'll be about 60 feet when we get it finished 
I just stuck this limb in the ground here about a month ago. It's beginning to grow. The tops will dry off, but they'll start again. There's our wild mint from Cottonwood Creek, right there. And it's blooming right now. Now let's go back around here and we'll go in the house and look at Maryland's. By the way, that tower is about 45 feet there or more. That one there is just beginning. We got a lot more sections to put up on it. We'll put another tower halfway between there and that one, and that will be for a 160 meter antenna, and maybe even a double extended zip on 75. We'll find out how that works out. There is my 100 foot crank up tower there, which we'll put up one of these days also. There's our trailer we just got not too long ago. We're going to go down and bring some furniture and things up. I'll also show you the inside of the garage. And there's one of our Kalamazoo wood burning cook stoves there that I'll hook up on the patio. There comes Monkey and some of the other guys. Now we're coming in the house. And we'll start out with Maryland's. We're going to start out with Maryland's pictures here. That one is just beautiful. This is one of the very first paintings she painted. And there is Fish Lake. A video she did of Fish Lake. Or not video, but a, a painting she did that with a snow geese on it. And my shield up there. It looks like Marilyn is playing with the foam for some reason. There's some of the buffalo skulls. And we'll do this. Right here is one of the paintings she just did right here. And uh, that's one of the paintings she just did now. And this is another one she did with the White Mountains here. And this is Marilyn right there. <laughs> and she's only uh, phone right now anyway there's the, our front yard actually and then here is this and she's on the phone as you can see there's one she did of a homestead out in the old river area now here is a, a picture that she did of the ocean also and there's a picture that she did of a windmill in Denmark. And this is another picture of a San Juan Capistrano that she did from a picture that her father took in 1900 and something. And this is a uh, picture of some cotton she did. And here's a picture that she did of a lighthouse in the ocean. Of course you can stop and pause these so you can look at them a little better. There's one of my chickens that I had for many years ago up here in Fish Lake Valley. And then here is a boat we always talked about buying, Little Joe. We didn't buy him but uh, anyway we talked about buying the boat and that's in the Avila Harbor where we went out many many times. This is one of the very first pictures that Marilyn ever did when she was a very young. It looks like a watercolor. She was probably in the seventh or eighth grade when she did that. Here's another picture she did that I very much like of the Pozo Flat area. And in that tree is a lion sitting there. And there's another ocean scene with a guy drowning and angels coming after him. Two angels and a rainbow in the sky. And here is a picture of a place that we thought about all the time as our house on the coast. It was very beautiful and they restored it. Here's another homestead out in the Old River area. 
And there's the picture that I didn't think was even possible for her to draw. She drew this picture of an igloo with a light in it. And she did it. And she sent that to Debbie in Alaska, KL7OU. And there's the picture that she won Chairman's Choice, Judge's Choice, First Place, Grand Champion, and Best of Show. Right there. And then for all of you that are interesting, this is our recording room that is now my library that, that is nine foot tall coming down. Here is a recording studio here. Here's also radio benches coming down through here with bookcases above it. There are four levels of radio benches. I haven't near got everything there yet. I'll be bringing one more amplifier with me and another radio back. There's bookcases. You can see I still have some of my tools here. Looking up front to the recording uh, studio. And I got the camera up a little bit closer to the stand, the camera I'm using in my hand. Here's another bookcase and radio radios here, which will be over on the other side pretty soon. And my lights, I have to shine right in my face so you can see me on camera. And anyway, there that is. We also have a whiteboard now. And there's my old Ariopka sign from Valley Baptist Church where I've taught for over 20 years. And this is some of the backgrounds. There is a church history chart there that goes up above here when I'm teaching church history. And I've only got a few books here now. And by the way, if you want to look what some of my work looks like here, there's the book of Revelation, read in Greek, and uh, the translation and the grammar and page numbers of the lexicons down below all of it and what part of speech it is. Looking back to our couch, and I have a clock up on the wall so I can tell what time it is, how long I'm teaching, according to who's here. When I, we have audience, so sometime it goes over an hour, but what I'm teaching usually I stay within 30 minutes. So there is the brand new bookcases, which I'm very happy about. Very happy about those. They will be very useful. Coming out here, washer and dryer in the laundry room. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have our air conditioner here. And I put drying racks up here. So we could dry the clothes in the winter time. Sometimes I some things I don't want in a dryer at all, like my towel. Now we're out in the shop and the garage, and we have plenty of lighting here. And I'm going down to pick up benches that'll go against that wall. I've got cabinets and benches that go there. There's my 1000D radio that I have to put in the car. Some other things. Looking back, the, it's quite roomy in here. There's our safe over there. Keep things that are valuable in that. Now we'll go in here in the guest house, which is not very large, but it's a place where people can stay. There's Dakota's bunk bed that she had, and that makes, it's got one bed above the other, so we got a little more room by doing the bunk bed than a regular bed. Take that much room looking back out here into the patio. And to the moon and the sky, we had the comet coming over for quite a while. Finally got a glimpse of it. I think you can hear the creek running. It's growers, actually. Silver Peak Range, that's 11, 12,000 foot. That's White Mountain up there, 14,252 feet. And then, as you saw, the boundary in Montgomery Peak, 
that are over 13,000 foot. That range is quite a bit of it over 14,000 feet. Well, there's where I've been building. My tools and we'll be going down to Old River tomorrow. Thank you for watching the video on discovertheword.com incorporated. Discover the Word with Dr. Jim and sermonaudio.com slash DTW and on Discover the Word with Dr. Jim YouTube site now where we have over 2200 messages on that. Thank you for your love and support. God bless you and please pray for us.